going? Welcome back, or welcome to, or just welcome. Um, as you can see, it's a crap day. It's wet, it's cold. Can't do anything. Can't fly any drones. Can't have fun. So I thought I would do a quick calibration uh, demo on the Tello. Which is pretty simple. I haven't done it though before, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, what you need to do is to hook it up which I've just taken the liberty of doing. Well, look, aircraft is on tilt, so it is. Okay, so what you need to do is you go into the settings of your tello. Okay, make sure the tello is on a level ground, which I reckon mine is, judging by that level there. Awesome. So you want to go into uh, more of your settings for the tello. Uh, make sure the battery is fully charged as well. Um, hit the second square down, whatever you want to call it, and you'll see you want the IMU status. So we're going to calibrate the IMU. All right. So it says number one: place the aircraft on a flat surface and take off the propellers using the special tool, which I have got. Uh, yeah, somewhere. This is my special tool. Special tool, where are you? Here you are. This is a special tool. Not too sure what makes it special because you can actually just pull these props straight off. So, anyway, I'll use a special tool. First of all, I'll use my special tool to take off the prop guards, which just clip off. They're quite flexible, so as to not break when you crack them off, which is pretty good. <laughs> okay, special tool goes under the propeller and from what I gather without doing any training you just lift it up and pull it off. It's pretty simple. If you haven't got this special tool you can just yank them off but I better do the right thing. One, two, three and I've already taken them off earlier. Just to make sure I didn't make a fool of myself like I normally do. Okay, so number two, successfully place the aircraft in the six positions. Okay, well, it looks like it's facing towards me, I suppose, so let's sit it there. Indicated on the screen. The green LED will flash quickly when calibration is a given position is successful. In a given position is successful. Okay, so I'm not having trouble reading here. <laughs> Keep tele powered on, and the motor's powered off during calibration. Calibration will take about five to ten minutes. Might need to speed up some video here. Okay, so facing towards me, and calibrate. There's a little steel with a green flashing light there. Okay, oh, okay, so now we need to put it on its side, facing me. Like so. Mm, we'll hang on to that because it's just going to fall over. So, yeah. I'll just see you mate. Oh, flashing green. Oh. I think we need to change positions now. Okay, we have an orange light on the front of the tele. Folks, you've got to keep an eye on the picture. <laughs> By the look of it. Oh, she's flashing green. Okay, now we need to go. I don't know. Like that. That's how we started. Ooh, I hope this works. That's what the picture says to do. We're on three of six at the moment. Maybe it's telling me to go up and down like this. Well, it probably is actually. I'm silly. It's going to make it really hard to see that green flashing light, isn't it? Okay. So stick them up in the air like so. We're on 4 of 6 at the moment. How long will this actually take? Hmm, we shall see. 
Oh, we are now upside down, facing me. Five of six. I've flown this tallow probably 30 times. I've never done this, so I'm not too sure if you need to. You guys drop a comment and <laughs> let me know if you actually need to do this. Or if I'm just sort of wasting my time, anyway. Complete. Restart aircraft. Well, okay. Aircraft off. Aircraft on. Um, I suppose I get out of this. I don't really know. I need to reconnect it to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, we are connected, and I'm assuming it's done. If not, I've said something. So you calibrate again. It's just going to go back to there. So there's no real end screen saying, "Hey, well done, job." I might uh, just put the props back on and let's see if she flies. So straight away I haven't done something which um, is good to mention to you guys. Obviously we need to make sure the propellers are on the right, right sides. So there are little lines on these propellers so I'll put one here and one here. And no lines on these two, here and here. Uh, I'm assuming I need to go diagonally. Again, pardon my ignorance but um, yeah, this could go really badly. So what I might do to um, take off is I might just hang on to it, see if it actually flies nicely, or if it just <laughs> flies off. I can't remember if they need to be 1-2 or 1-2, so I'm pretty sure they're meant to be diagonally opposing. Yeah, okay. If I'm wrong, write me a comment, tell me I'm stupid. And, whoa! That's wrong. So guys, yeah, really important uh, thing to note is when you do put the props back, make sure they go on the right one. So you see a little line on a couple of these props, they need to be diagonally opposite each other, but they also need to be on the right side. So if you put the one with the lines on on the left side, regardless of putting the other one diagonally opposite, it'll still go cuckoo and fly downwards, not upwards. <laughs> okay, so once you put the props back on, which is simply a matter of simply a matter of pressing it back in place then we shall put our prop guards back on and see if she flies so let's just click these back on again let's um yeah see if she flies shall we Slide to take off. Beware. Off we go. Keep it going. Keep it doing. Stand still. Stand still. Okay. Yeah, she's always a bit dodgy flying indoors uh, because uh, yeah, it's a recipe for crashing basically. So now looks good. Um, Calibration seems to have worked, I suppose, I don't know. You I know mean, what it is. But seems to be sort of sitting there how it's meant to. Sort of. Seems to be jiggling around a little bit by itself, but oh I'm gonna crash in a minute and I just know it. Okay, let's get outside shall we? If it's not raining. Let's smash that hand landing, shall we? Okay, confirm. Thanks very much. Alright. Okay, there you go folks. <laughs> Something actually worked, which is cool. And I'm gonna buy this in the Google. <laughs>